Hello everybody, I'm IGP the Indie Game Promoter and welcome to Heavy Bullets, a first person randomized roguelike dungeon crawler developed by Terry Velmon. This was recently released on Steam and if you're interested I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check it out yourselves. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly cover this game. Uh, there's not too much to the game, it's not very complicated. Um, but basically you're playing a guy, I don't know if I'm a unit in some kind of uh, army or something, but I must go down to uh, the mainframe and reset the security on it because it has crashed or otherwise stopped working. Uh, and now there's creatures roaming around in this world, so there's a long loading screen for that. But basically, this is what we're looking at here. Oh god, I gotta recenter my mouse. There we go. But uh, oh, 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 I forgot, I forgot! Hmm, the shift key is not to run. It actually is a uh, bomb that you place. So try not to press shift again, but basically the game it looks like this. It's very interesting art style, kind of retro. The color palette looks like freaking like Hotline Miami or something. Uh, they call it heavy bullets, I believe, because the bullets that you have, you're given this one revolver and uh, it shoots out giant bullets like that. Now I actually do not know. Okay, yeah, you reload them and you can pick them up. They're pretty dangerous. Uh, you do get bombs and stuff, but what makes this game fun and replayable is that there are little points around the game, which I hope I can find one. There are little points- oh gosh! So those- that's one of the monsters. Now there's these little worms in there too, that I've fallen victim to because they blend in so well with the, uh, with the grass there. But we're gonna basically go down level by level to get to the mainframe, which, to be honest, structuring a place or headquarters like this doesn't make sense to put the mainframe all the way down into where it's inaccessible. So we got a guy over there, a guy over there, um, but again, what makes this really fun is that there's going to be little points around where you can buy stuff, purchase upgrades for your current run. Uh, you'll find random items like this, which it doesn't really give you a description of what they do, but it does. Uh, they do help you throughout the game. And that's one of my bullets bouncing around somewhere. That's a coin uh, to tell me that I can pick it up. There we go. So now I have all my bullets. Now you only have the six, but you can't upgrade uh, to carry more. Oh my gosh! Jesus! Okay, okay. Gosh, that's so loud. I should have turned this volume down. But anyway, uh, so that's what we're looking at here. Now, I haven't ran into a booth yet. There's upgrade booths and like life insurance or like health booths that allow you to upgrade your health and uh, purchase uh, upgrades that will transfer or carry over to your next run, uh, like life insurance and stuff like that. Now, there's also a bank, which is great because the more coins you collect, like right now I have 30, I could purchase some stuff. But if I want to, if I don't think I'm doing too well or too hot in this one, I can store them for my next run in case it's a little bit better. But here's a bullet booth. So we can spend our money on this or save it. Um, I don't think I need another bullet this early in the game. There's eight levels, I believe. Uh, and from what I've gathered, they kind of look similar, but it just gets progressively harder. Now, as I mentioned, it is randomly generated. Uh, the environments are always different each time you play it. Oh my gosh, I hate those things so much. Now, I'm already low on health. This is not a good thing. All right, so we're looking here. Now, this is a med bay where we can heal. Um, I don't... That's one thing I got to say that I don't really care for is that I don't get really a description of what these are So I'm basically when you first start the game You're gonna waste time trying to figure out what they are by buying them and they may not work so well Now there's all different kinds of monsters. There's a laser guy right here. That's gonna kill me I'm probably gonna die right now I think I can just there we go. Okay, so give me those bullets back All right, so I got missing one. There we are. All right, so that is pretty much the premise of the game. Uh, there's random items around that that uh, that peril noise is is kind of irritating. Mega bomb, space bar to use it. I'm assuming it's gonna blow up the world that I'm playing in right now. We shall figure out. Oh god, that froze up my screen a little bit there. Ooh, shit, where 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 where? Gosh, it's a little frightening. They're very loud noises, and you wouldn't have guessed that uh, when you first turn on the game because the the volume kind of spikes. The enemies are a lot louder than the music itself. Um, but it's a really fun game. I gotta say, it, it does it does allow you um, a lot more time than it actually takes to beat the game. Because, of course, you're gonna replay it over and over and see if you can do it better. That's just the general idea and, and how these games work and why they're so fun to play. It is quite limited, though, I gotta say. There should be- there could be a little bit more things done to it. Um, like, I, of course, the first thing is gonna be the explanations about what these do, so I don't... Um, freaking waste my time. But I'll make a deposit real quick of... 50 bucks, so that way I have it for the next run. I'm doing actually pretty good. I played this uh, a couple of times to kind of get familiar with it, and I didn't make it very far at all. Now, I don't know if these doors um, are each level, or if I actually have to find a ladder to go down. Now, this game also, as soon as I turned it on, it reminded me of Delver, 
and uh, like Eldritch, those games I covered before. Oh, shh, it's a laser. Shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. Um, but that's what kind of reminds me of just the style and the uh, randomly generated stuff. Uh, it's 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 pretty fun. There's not much else to uh, that I can say that uh, is going on in this game. Key card. Um, other than it just gets more difficult from here on out. I don't know if there's any boss at the last level. I've never made it. Oh, so it is. Okay. So we go down a ladder uh, for the next level. And uh, so I guess, oh, we can save and quit. That's nice. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm going to see how far I can get. And uh, if you guys are interested in this game, if this is your kind of game, be sure to check it out. I'll have links in the description for you. Of course, as always, I'll put the developer's links too, so you can keep up to date with developer updates in this game and other works of theirs. And, uh, hope you guys enjoy. So, okay, so we're going to try to get farther. Okay, there's a door right there. There's another key. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I should have turned down the volume. Uh, yeah, I didn't really get far. Anyway, that's the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to give it a like. Uh, you guys know what to do. Share it everywhere you can. Subscribe to me. Follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Again, links will be in the description if you want to check it out. As well, the developer, make sure to follow them. Give them some support, even if you don't buy the game. So thanks again for watching, guys. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.